three years ago, I began the Thomas the Tank Engine layout of my childhood dreams. I had no idea what I was getting into. If you want to follow along my layout journey, make sure to subscribe and join the hype train. Without confusion or delay, here are the hidden costs of model railroading. Space and time. A model train layout takes up space. My layout is larger than the standard, coming in at 6 foot by 10 foot. A layout is a commitment. It might take up half your basement. In addition, if you need a modeling table or place to store your engines. Depending on your availability of space, keep this in mind as you begin your model layout. A model layout also takes time. I've completed many Metcalf model card kits, and depending on the kit, it can take a couple of hours. Model railroading is a hobby, so it can be fun, but realize you will get out of it what you put into it. Some are so dedicated that they will lay their own track by hand. Ain't nobody got time for that. And I've even seen layouts that have taken 30 years to make. It's up to you how your layout will come together. As a new modeler, learning the tricks and tools of the hobby has come with experience. Here are the items I wish I would have known I needed to purchase. While creating the layout, one of the main features that I wanted to add was the hillside and quarry sections. According to the grass mats, they can be heated using the Woodland Scenic Torch Heater. My plan was just to cover the hillside with the grass mat. The only thing, it costs like a zillion dollars and they are also discontinued. I needed to get plaster cloth to cover my foam, which also meant plaster rocks. You can purchase precast and colored rocks, but this is more expensive than creating and coloring your own. It's a fun process to make your own rocks and then add them to your layout. And they can be used over and over again to create new rock faces. I discovered that I had different areas where I could add rocks to the scenery. To apply the grass mats on the layout, it is crucial that you remove all air bubbles from the surface. Air bubbles ruin the scenery aesthetic, buildings are unleveled, and it can even warp your track. An even surface can be achieved by working out air bubbles with a rolling pin or wallpaper roller, then popping these bubbles with a pin. I had to purchase multiple spray bottles. First, I got a water bottle sprayer. It sounds very random, but it was necessary to wet the foam board as I glued the foam hillside and to spray the grass mat to remove ground cover so that I could add scenery. I also had to buy the Woodland Scenic Scenic Sprayer bottle. Yeah, which was used to apply scenic cement upon the blended turf that I used on the hillside as well as other areas that represent grass on my layout make sure that anything you have modeled stays in place. While forming the landscape of the layout, you need to bond the foam pieces to the foam board itself. The Gorilla Glue does expand, so make sure that you have some kind of clamp or heavy object to put on the foam as they bond. A lot of advanced modelers prefer working with plastic kits, but as a beginner, I have not had a good experience with the Hobby Plastic Glue. I've purchased multiple types and I'm not satisfied with either. The Metcalf Model Card Kits recommend using the Deluxe Materials brand Rocket Card Glue. This is imported specifically from the UK, which adds to the shipping costs. There are limited places in America that sell this glue, however. You can also check the exchange rate on Google to make sure that you're getting the best deal possible. These glue bottles utilize a glue applicator tip, which can get clogged and bent to the point that they are no longer usable, which means ordering replacement applicators. They come in multi-packs, but must be shipped from the UK. 
I usually try to make one or two large orders from the UK every year to save on shipping costs. The glue applicator tip can be washed out with hot water in your sink to make sure that the applicator is cleaned out so next time you model, it isn't clogged up. I literally had one of my X-Acto knife blades snap in half while I was working on a kit. Replacement blades can be ordered online or at your local hobby shop. Eventually, I will need to run wire under the base of the layout for the Woodland Scenic Just Plug Lights and the Bachman Easy Track Switches. During this process, the layout will need to be moved and propped up or maybe permanent legs added. If you want to see about the time where I met Edward and Percy, make sure to click here. Let me pray for you. Lord, your word says that if we lack wisdom, that we should ask you and that you will give it to us. So Lord, I pray that if there's anything that my friends have need of today, that they would simply pray and ask you for help and that you would lead them and guide them. And we praise you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll catch you in the next video. See ya.